What's up guys, Goonlister here bringing you another player review and this time it's Informed Javinho or that's what we're going to call him for the purpose of this review as he also has a man of the match card out there as well. And also another thing to note is that he has a position change so his regular card is a left winger but this card is a right midfielder and I've um, changed him over to a right forward to fit him into this team. So this is the team I'm playing him in, got a deadly front three of Informs. So he's 5 foot 10, which is quite tall for a winger, a lot taller than most. He's got um, a 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. I bought him when, when he was released on opening night, so it cost me over 200k. I've also played 7 games with him and he's managed to score me 8 goals, which is not bad at all. So we'll take a look at his in-game stats. And he's got 91 ball control, 88 curve, 92 dribbling, 89 finishing, which is really surprising considering what he's like in real life. The other standout stats being 84 short pass and 85 volleys. So he can play in left wing, right wing or centre attack in midfield. He's right footed, he's got a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. So we take a look at physical attributes, these are absolutely amazing. Look at all the dark green there, 92 acceleration, 96 agility, 80 balance, 84 reactions, 90 sprint speed, 95 stamina and 68 strength. And he's also got 82 attacking position and 81 vision. So going into the clips, what did I think of him? He was much, much better than I was expecting. And I think he's probably the best right-sided forward attacking option in the BPL at the moment. You have got other alternatives such as um, Walcott, Lennon, Valencia, and also you've got the inform matter. But we've got the combination of his dribbling, his pace, his strength, and his finishing. And pretty much you put those all together into this one package and you've got yourself a hell of a player here. His dribbling is absolutely insane. You know, he dribbles like some of the better players in the game. You know, like not as good as Messi and Ronaldo, but quite close. You know, he can just weave in and out of players. You'll see one of the clips there where he just like leaves two players with their just dribbles in between them. And, you know, if he's got the ball in his right foot, then he has got the ability and the pace to finish off chances. And you'll see that from the clips as well. One thing I didn't like about him is that... Playing on the right hand side, you do need a decent left foot. So if you're not naturally left footed, then you're going to be cutting inside onto your weak foot. And only having a freestyle weak foot meant that, you know, those chances were a bit of a lottery. You'll see him scoring goals with his weak foot, but also, you know, he will miss his fair share of opportunities on there. So you're always better off to put it onto his right foot if you want to guarantee a shot at goal. Another good thing about him is his pace. The card says 90 and it does feel like 90. It might even feel slightly quicker because he's got 90 pace and then he's also got 92 acceleration which just means he has the ability just to lose a man when you need it at the vital moments. And with, you know, going back to his dribbling, because he's got 96 agility, that just makes such a massive difference. And you'll notice that as soon as you start playing with him, you realise how, what a pleasure it is to play with and how easy it is to drift past players. And another thing that surprised me is that he's actually got a really nice finesse shot. I wasn't expecting that from him. Again, maybe it's based on real life and what I see from him. But in this game, you know, and especially this card that they've released, is an absolute monster. So, you know, finesse shot, if you've got the opportunity, it'll be a bit like FIFA 12, give it a go and you'll probably be surprised that it will end up in the back of the net instead of sailing past the post. So, going, there was only one other thing that I didn't really like about him and that was his work rate. So, we always seem to be coming back to work rates but they do make a massive difference when it comes to these players. Now, there is an option to change them in game but it's a lot of hassle to be going to do that um, in between every game. So just to summarise everything for you, he's got insane dribbling, he's lightning fast, he's got a great finesse shot and finishing, he's got four star skills, so his skill is out there, I didn't mention that before. The bad things is his medium defensive wear rate, which means sometimes he'll be slightly further back than you want, but he has got a high attack and rate rate, which slightly compensates for that, and he's also got a three star weak foot, which means that, you know, it will be a bit of a lottery if it's on his left foot rather than his stronger right foot. Definitely recommend him to all and advise you to get him, so overall I'm giving him a 9 out of 10 for this review. If you like this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.